Hello guys, welcome to lecture 3 and we are going to be talking about the shell and the terminal today. Let's go straight to it. What is the shell? Now simply put, the shell is a program. The shell is a program on your computer. Now if you watch the previous lesson, we spoke about the Unix architecture and realize that there is a hardware on top of the hardware, then there is a program or the operating system built on top of the hardware and the kernel forms a very important or central component of the operating system and the kernel talks to another program known as the shell then we learned that the shell is a command line interface that receives command from the user through the keyboard and then passes those commands to the operating system or to the kernel and the computer executes those commands so we are going to delve into um, more details today concerning the shell so the shell is a program on its own now what this program does is that it takes command from the keyboard and gives them to to the operating system to execute now on most linux systems a program called bash is the default shell okay the bash stands for born again shell because it was developed by a man known as steve bone okay so the bash shell is just one kind of shell in a unix system that receives commands and passes those commands to the operating system there are other kinds of shell such as the the bone shell which is a shell just sh and then there is a born again shell which you have already seen that is called the bash and then there is a c shell there is a corn shell which is a k shell and then there is a 10x c shell now these shells can run on various operating systems and other operating systems do not have them for instance if you are working with a mac then you definitely have a copy of the bash shell installed on your machine so all you have to do is to go to the terminal and open up and then you have a bash shell that you're working with for instance um let me just go into my terminal this is the shell okay so you can pass commands to this shell and then the shell will pass the commands to the operating system and then the system will execute those commands we're going to be running a few commands in a bit don't worry so let's say i want to print working directory i pass this command to the shell the shell now passes the command to the operating system and i get an output over here okay we'll delve into this some more okay but let's go back to our notes and gather some more information before we get our hands dirty let's talk about the shell and the terminal what's the difference between the shell and the terminal now you realize that these terms more often than not are used inter interchangeably okay but they actually mean different things the shell is a command line interface as we have already seen and it provides a way for users to interact with the operating system by typing commands that is well understood now but what of the terminal it is a program that provides a graphic interface for assessing the shell okay the shell does the work and the terminal allows you to tell the shell what work to do so let's go back to our terminal and understand what this means okay so this you see over here this green box it could be a green box it could be a black box it really depends on the configuration that you choose for instance i can open i mean a basic nature of a shell now i have a blue box instead of um a green box and the others are black so the color really does not matter it simply is the kind of preference that you you decide to have now what you see over here as the terminal is a graphic user interface okay so this is the terminal now whatever command i pass here i'm passing it to the terminal however the terminal and the shell are linked together the terminal provides the graphic interface which is what you see on your screen then when you enter the command the terminal now passes the command to the shell so it's like the terminal is the face of the shell then the shell is behind the terminal so you enter your commands to the terminal and the shell picks up the, those commands to work on them let's use a kitchen scenario to understand this let's say you have ingredients or some kind of um, food that you want to prepare okay so you have your knife that you're going to use to cut the vegetables and everything else that you want to do the shell in this case are the tools that you are going to use to work such as the knife 
then the food itself you are going to prepare then the terminal is what provides the platform let's say that is your kitchen board on which you are going to put all the ingredients to work on so the terminal provides a platform then the shell does the work so let's use a restaurant as another example to understand this concept very well you walk into a restaurant you place your order the order is placed at the counter okay then the one at the counter passes the order to the cooks at the kitchen at the back then they process your order bring it back to the counter you pick your order up from the counter now in this case the terminal is the counter that is where you pass your orders then now the order goes to the back kitchen that is the shell and the shell processes your food processes the commands and bring it back to the counter which is the terminal and then you receive your output on the graphic user interface which is the terminal so that is the basic difference between the terminal and the shell the terminal is a user interface the graphic user interface and the shell is a program beneath or underneath or underlying that interface that does the work for you proper okay let's go read more the terminal is an essential tool for developers, system administrators, and power users who need to manage their computer system resources and perform various tasks efficiently. Great. So the terminal is a program that allows you to interact with the shell and you can do so much with it as you shall see. Um, the terminal and the shell work together and that is why they are sometimes used in interchangeably. Terminals give access to a shell session. Okay, so now for instance, in my terminal, I realize that it tells me that last login Wednesday, April 26th. So it catalogs the time that I logged in and then the date as well. So you can actually see the history of your sessions on the terminal. So when I type in history and enter, it gives me the last 500 um, commands that I've entered. You can actually scroll through and see what I've been doing um, for the past 500 times. Okay. You can see less than 500 or even more you just have to use a flag but we'll talk about these things much later now in our next lecture we are going to be talking about the file system organization we'll be talking about the root we'll be talking about the super user home directories and much more we'll see you in the next video